Hello, we uh, wrote, recently wrote an entry in our webmapsolutions.com blog talking about the fact that we're uh, investigating building an application for um, uh, to, to, to be an iOS and Android version of the uh, water utility mobile map from Esri. We thought it might be interesting just to share with you um, the process that we're going through in building this application. What you're looking at here is um, an Android tablet um, the application we're building is a mobile flex application, it's an installed version of the application so it's actually something that would uh, be distributed through potentially through the stores, the Apple store and the uh, Android market. Um, what we've done here is uh, we followed some of the guidelines that Esri have suggested about building um, applications which are integrated or at least are hitting ArcGIS Online. This one uh, reads a configuration file, so it allows uh, users to um, set the, the logo, set the title, set the color, set a couple of other things in there. So that's a, that's loaded up front. One of the, the other, one of the other things loaded here is the actual uh, web map ID, since we're just loading one web map. Um, there's a certain logic to why we've done that, and we'll explain that in the blog. Um, so this is loaded a single web map. In this case, we've just loaded uh, some data from. Uh, from Beirut. Um, so if we zoom into the application, these are actually feature layers that you see in here and we can see that by just tapping here and we should get a pop-up which just gives us the attributes and you can zoom into that. So the kind of the standard stuff you'd see on ArcGIS Online. What we were interested in doing was making this a very clean interface. We wanted to make it very simple. So uh, we've maximized the real estate for the, uh, for the map itself and we've minimized the amount of controls that are visible in the, in the, in the map. Um, as you can see in the top right hand corner here are three controls. Um, we've got a layers option here which allows users to turn, obviously turn the layer on or off. Um, we've got a basic option which we may rename but for the minute we're calling it that which is basically just a pop down or drop a pop over, I think they call them, um, which gives users the option to, sort of, to zoom back to full extent, to actually geolocate, which is you know zoom to where we currently are, to provide an overview map and then a measure tool as well. Now some of these tools are based on um, what's in the actual water utility um, mobile map, which which I should indicate is a Windows only application, which is why we were interested in looking at building it for iOS and and um, Android. Uh, we've also got an edit option here as well so and again that's empty um, we're about to populate that um, so that will give tools for editing these uh, these feature layers um, now one of the key pieces that we've uh, that's part of this application is an online offline option um, and let's show you that so we're actually online at the minute let's tap this bar here now we've got the option here to go to load offline maps so let's go ahead and do that and there we have it, we've actually loaded from the device offline layers. So um, when, what we did when we first loaded the application was we actually loaded a TPK or a tile package in the application itself, which is what you're in part looking at here. So the base, the base stuff of this, which we can turn off, base layer is what's behind. And that was generated in ArcMap. Um, the other the other layers on top are actual feature layers. So what we've got is we've stored a TPK on the device, um, and we've actually taken a copy of the feature layers and again stored those on the device as well. And that's what you're looking at as these interactive layers. So if we tap here, you'll actually see the same pop up uh, of attributes as we saw when we were online. So this is a this is a nice feature. Um, we made it an option such that people could select it themselves rather than automatically find that the device has gone off offline. The reason we did that was because um, in work that we're doing at the moment, we found that when people are in areas, even though they have uh, they have Wi-Fi, if the if the Wi-Fi uh, connection is weak, then the loading of everything is very very slow. So rather than have the device say we're completely offline now, we've actually uh, allowed the user to select offline maps if they want faster performance etc. So as we move forward this we'll do another video, we'll show you the, new, the basic tools that we're going to add and we'll also show you the editing capabilities both online uh, and offline. Thanks for watching.